Welcome everyone, Marcelo is my name. I am the Niche Fragrance Collector. And I am Laura from T2M Sensory. And we are in the T2M Sensory showroom. It's pretty exciting. Last week we spoke about awesome fragrances for brides. Today, it's all about the boys. These are amazing perfumes for a potential groom. Yes. Now, why is that important? Well, I think the most important thing is that on a groom on his wedding day wants to look and feel his absolute best and the best way to do that with finish it off perfume. with a gorgeous fragrance and you also want to make sure that when your bride smells you she's like i made the right choice <laughs> i want that <laughs> this guy is hot yeah i'm gonna start off with hachivat mm. by nishane some of you may know it I think that for the men out there that love something fresh, bright, woody, classic in that way, this is a winner for sure. Women swoon mm. on this fragrance. And men feel confident. Yes. Now I'm going to jump in so many times here because all these fragrances behind me I know and most of them I think I only, I don't, I, there's one that I don't have in my collection so yes it can be your perfect fragrance for your wedding day but it's and all, these are awesome fragrances for any man, every day. It is beautiful. so beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. There's, a, there's that freshness, there mm. is that pineapple note that right. everybody talks about right. in, in this fragrance. You know, it, yes, yes, but for me, the grapefruit. Yes. The grapefruit comes out more. Yes, there is that pineapple there. But it's not too sweet no. and syrupy. Right. It's, it's definitely uh, Moorish, right. Moorish on the skin. It makes me think about uh, Giorgio Armani or Izumiyaki, right. those fragrances right. that are classic for men that they love and women have always loved on men. Right. I remember in my teens, I was like smelling guys that wore those fragrances going, oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> so That's this is- That's what you want your bride to do. And this is Extract the Parfum. So it lasts forever. It will- Well, no, let me, let me qualify that. So it, it's, so on me- Forever. Yeah, no, on me, I actually, oh, I have Hachibat, um, love wearing it. I did a review on this, so I'll, I'll put a link there. So if you want to know a little bit more about that, um, it is about eight hours. It's a comfortable eight hours. The, the sillage on this is spectacular. Mm. People will pick up your fragrance as you're walking down that aisle, even if you're in the park, people will pick up this particular fragrance. And even when we first met, you said yeah. uh, that you, uh, Marcello had sprayed Hachivat in the showroom. Laura stepped out. I sprayed Hachivat. And I came back in and I said, who sprayed Hachivat? <laughs> I was like a kid in, with my hand in the cookie jar. I'm like, uh, I <laughs> But don't it's know. so good. I'm, yeah. Every time I smell it, I'm instantly attracted to it. So the notes on this particular fragrance, top notes are pineapple, grapefruit, and bergamot. In the heart, you're looking at cedarwood, patchouli, and jasmine. Finally, in the base, oak moss and woody notes. So it's considered a fresh Shipra fragrance. Mm. Shipra is if you don't know what the Shipra is, it's all of the most seductive ingredients in one perfume. Right. So you have some fruity notes, you have some spices, you have mossy woods as a, as a base generally. Right. Normally the Shippers are for women. Yes, but, that's true. Right. This is a, a Shipra for a man. Right. And I love that. And it's a water, mm. it's got that watery freshness. Mm. Um, and so awesome. if you like more aromatic fragrances, this is a winner. Absolutely. For sure. Next up, we have 1899 by Histoire de Parfum. And this year is the birth date of Ernest Hemingway. And this is a fragrance celebrating his years where he spent in Paris. Right. And so this is all about going out at night in Paris and having a party. So it's champagne flowing. And so you think about, I think about this as for a man on his wedding day, right. it is a winner. It's one of the best sellers in the collection. Right. And I feel that it's 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 spicy, it's woody, it's a little bit sweet. Uh, it's it sort of ticks all the boxes, and it, I think most people will like it. And women love it on men. So when uh, when Laura was putting together these fragrances, the only one that I wasn't familiar in the, in this lineup was this one here. But the fact that Ernest, well, it's in I guess homage to Ernest Hemingway. Uh, it's like well, like I said, he was a man's man. You know, he was yeah. up to mischief. Um, so I can see that this would be like a, an awesome classic male fragrance. Yeah, I think that this is a really easy wearing. Yep. It's not too fresh. It's not too right. deep. I was going to say there's a balance in there. It's so so, so it's not. Uh, f f the funny thing is, I expect it here to be a lot more woodier, mm. but it, it's not. It's not so woody. There is a freshness to it. Yeah. 
And is, is there some spices in there? Or is yeah, it... yeah. So there's definitely lots of black pepper in right. here. Right, there you go. I love the black pepper. And mm. there is actually a note of orange blossom, right. which gives it a clean uh, warmth to the fragrance. Almost, uh, sometimes orange blossom can be quite a little bit soapy in a way. Yeah. So it's got that fresh, well, we, we clean, aromatic vibe. Yeah, right, right. This is beautiful. Vibe. And this is a nice, this would be... I can see this in the park. This is a more relaxed man. Yeah, it is. This is, I mean, maybe not even a tie on. Yeah, true. This would be, and again, as a as a going out for an everyday fragrance, this definitely falls in that category. And great for the after party. Right. Because I was going to say, there is- <laughs> For the reception. It's, it's less, it's not very, it's a very relaxed, not formal necessarily fragrance. So the opening notes, you're looking at juniper, black pepper, and bergamot. Then in the heart, you're looking at cinnamon, iris, and orange blossom. Finally, in the base, vanilla, amber, and vetiver. The cinnamon gives it an interesting mm. note too. When you said black pepper, I'm like, yep, there it is, black pepper. But there was something else coming through, you know? The iris, maybe? Possibly, yeah. Gorgeous fragrance. On skin, especially. Can you imagine? I think you'll smell this I on the imagine. paper. Yes, it's lovely, but mm. on skin, it just gets warm. It warms up with your own right. scent and it is incredible. Speaking of your own scent, mm. this is about enhancing your own unique scent. This is a fragrance for me that it's very hard for me to pick on certain people right. because it changes with their unique scent. And so it's a molecular perfume. Molecular perfume, what is that? It means that instead of using natural raw materials, right. we have, there is so many different types of aroma molecules. Some of them are completely synthetic. Some of them are part, partly synthetic with naturals as well. Uh, this perfume, has some of the most expensive, top of the line, synthetic molecule ingredients. Right. These are all skin friendly and safe. So this fragrance brand is 2787 uh, from Barcelona and they are considered clean. So they don't use any nasty additives right. in their fragrances. Right. So it's interesting to note that some people think that if they, if they get skin irritation because of perfume, that if they have a more natural oil-based fragrance, that it's not gonna be as bad. But the opposite is true. It's true. Because the, 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 the molecules from these natural oils can you know, irritate the skin. If you do get irritated by fragrances, then a molecular fragrance is probably the best way to go. If you are sampling this, try it on skin. It's two different experiences. On card, on skin. 100%. And this has a comeback. Mm. It's you put it on mm. and you go, oh, I'm not yeah. sure if I can smell it anymore. And then all of a sudden you're moving around, you're getting a little bit warm, you know, you're getting a bit nervous as you're going to walk down the aisle. <laughs> and it pops. And then it goes, yeah, and, and it explodes. It yeah. Right. It's look, it's just everybody literally will get comments on this fragrance yeah. and it smells insane on every individual. And it is about bringing out your own scent and enhancing that in its own unique way, which I thought, this is perfect, you know, the bride is getting married to right. this groom and he is, this is his scent, but enhanced and even more sexy. Big fan of, of 2787, uh, very, uh, they, they make very unique perfumes. Very interesting. I would, I would go out, I would recommend that you go out and explore their range. Very impressive collection that they have. Mm. Now, this one here, I've worn it on, on various occasions and the way Laura explained it is exactly right. So when I am calm, I'm getting like a powdery, musky, almost calming sort of fragrance. To, you know, and I'm like, oh yeah, it's, it's a powdery perfume. I, I, I've, I've had days where I'm a little bit more, you know, a lot more active or moving around, yeah. maybe stressing out about something. The woody notes start to pop and it's almost like two different fragrances. It follows your mood. Right. Yeah, and the heat of your body. The name is? Genetic, Genetic Bliss. Bl so this, this fragrance is literally made up of all woody molecules. Right. So the notes in this particular fragrance are woody notes, Akagala wood, Belumbra tree, sandalwood, and musk. Akagala wood mm. is a new hot perfume ingredient right. in the perfume world. It, every fragrance that it's in, I'm obsessed with, and, every, and, it, and it seems that anything that it is in are becoming best-selling fragrances. Right. It's, it's a completely sustainable ingredient, right. which is a byproduct of patchouli production. It is all of the smell of patchouli without all of that Musky, earthy muskiness. Because right. I was gonna say, what, what's, its, what's its profile? What, it's always it. Yeah, so it's woody, and it also it's, has a freshness which al almost smells a little bit like Thai basil. 
Right, which right. Is really because I was going to say that this fragrance is very, I find it's, it's a light. Yes, it's woody, but it's not those deep woods. We're yeah. about to talk about pardon in a minute. And that's a, that's a more. Yeah, it's not, so, it's not a leathery one. No. It's just dry woods. Yeah. Next one, we have Pardon by the fabulous Nazamato. <laughs> I think you know that I'm a fan. I'm a, just <laughs> a little bit of a fanboy on the, uh, the Nazamato. Um, this is the gentleman. I, I love this one. I just find that this is super seductive. That's something that I think is really beautiful mm. about this perfume that the no, Alessandro is definitely all about he pushes the limits yeah, with does. his fragrances yeah, does. in a nutshell this is the sexiest fragrance that a man can wear yeah. personally I love what it does in that it it starts mm. somewhere very subtle very innocent mm. very you know just no worries but on the on the the build to the dry down it evolves so beautifully on skin this is sensuous. It's a very, very, uh, just a very alluring fragrance. Set this, the iconic sense of a man. Alessandro doesn't disclose his fragrance notes. Right, He's the right. rock star of the perfume world. Right. But I can smell bitter chocolate. Yes. Yeah, I yeah, can right. smell oud. Mm. I can smell tobacco, mm, mm. Uh, leathers, mahogany woods. It's so, it's old sexy. world and so deeply sexy. Yeah. Another just beautiful, sexy, awesome fragrance on your wedding day, as the, your bride walks up to you and smells this sort of, and, and mm. the sillage on this is glorious. Yeah, it is. She'd just be it's like- It's extract of parfum. She'd be like, you know, let's just get this thing done. Let's get out of <laughs> let's here. Let's get out of here let's and get, get to the, the, yeah. the, the hotel. The good stuff, right, right. So the notes on this amazing perfume, top notes are magnolia and flowers. In the heart, you're looking at dark chocolate, tonka bean and cinnamon. Finally, in the base, you're looking at oud, and sandalwood. This lid, I have to talk about this, this is briarwood. Right. Now briarwood is used in luxury car interiors and smoking pipes. Because I was going to say, well, I, I love the look of the lid and it does remind me of like of the, the interior of like a Jag or something. 100%. Some... Yeah. And it takes a year and a half of work to produce a, uh, a batch of these lids. Right. So it's a lot of work put into these and they're all unique. Right. And so representing each unique man. man. I love it. I love it. Spiritum by Mel Foschini, an Italian wonderful perfumer. And this is more of a fougere, aromatic fragrance. I love really this one. rich, really deep, so elegant and captivating, love isn't it. it? Love it. Yeah, I can smell it. It's, it's coming... herbal too. Yep, yep. It's like walking out the fields, a forest, if you're an outdoorsy groom, mm. and you love the smell of, of nature mm. and, and the bush and trees. Mm. This is definitely mm. gonna be up your alley. Mm. There's something old world about it, but yet it's modern. Yeah, I was gonna say, funny that there's that balance, because yes, it does feel that older, more classic man, but it also has a twist on it in that there is a freshness to it, there's a lightness at the beginning, yeah. it dries down beautifully. I, I actually call it a really different refined vetiver fragrance. Right. So, and vetiver is very popular for I men, love it's vetiver. very classic. Yep. And I thought this is a, a really unique one mm. and different to the other vetivers that are out there in the market that are quite popular. Mm. And I thought there's a, there's a big following for vetiver. So yeah, this one is one to try. Mm. Speak. Again, gentlemen, don't don't think that this is just for your wedding day. These are yeah. spectacular fragrances uh, that you can wear every every day. Hundred um, percent. I, I love this one here. This is for me. This is my sunny day, going out, feeling good. Yeah. You know, just you know, um, uh, activity, some funness in, yeah. in my life. This is the great. Yeah. So top notes on this are angelica, herbal notes, chamomile, and carrot. Then in the heart, you're looking at cypress, myrtle, paper, and hyssop. Then in the base, you're looking at vetiver, cedar, elemi, tonka bean, guyac wood, and musk. Gentlemen, these are exceptional male leaning fragrances. On your wedding day, ladies would swoon. Yes. On I all of these. On this lineup. Um, if you are interested in any of these particular fragrances, know that Fragrance Artisan is supporting my channel. The code is NFC5 and you can get 5% off. Jump across to our Instagram page where you can see that we've got an awesome promo going on with T2M. You can win up to 20 different fragrance samples of their collection. 
Laura. Thanks. Thank you so much. That was awesome. That was really fun. Yeah, that was awesome. Next week, we're going to be talking about seduction. Woo! Seduction fragrances. We'll see you on the next video.